49-year-old Bruce Wirt says he has two great loves in his life, his wife Crystal and his amateur bodybuilding career. But Wirt says terrific back pain made even a short walk with Crystal impossible, let alone a workout. When you love somebody a lot, it hurts when you see them in pain and there's nothing you can do about it. It can be a sharp pain. It could just be like a pulsating ache. Bruce blames his back trouble on years of weightlifting. He finally saw a doctor when he could barely walk unassisted. What Mr. Worth had, anyone can have. It's something that you commonly see in females, more so than males. Orthopedic surgeon Alexander Vaccaro says Wirt's spine was curving, not uncommon as we age. He was also suffering from a narrowing of the spinal column, putting painful pressure on the nerves. This is what a healthy spine should look like. Plenty of space available for the nerve roots. Here's how Wirtz looked. You no longer see the large white area where the nerves are. During surgery, Dr. Vaccaro straightened the curve, relieving pressure on the nerves. He then stabilized the spine using cadaver bone infused with a genetically engineered substance. It's called bone morphogenic protein, which stimulates bone growth. These are things made in a laboratory. They're not from another person. There's no chance of any disease transmission, and it allows stem cells in your body to turn from an undifferentiated cell to a bone cell. Dr. Vaccaro says the protein helps lessen long-term pain, allows for quicker healing, and reduces the need for more surgery. Still, Wirt says his recovery wasn't easy. He says it was painful and long. One, two, up. But he Got says it. in the end it was worth it. Back feels fine. If you take it on a scale of one to ten, ten being the worst, it used to be at a ten. Now I'm a one. Dr. Vaccaro says only a small number of people with back pain actually need surgery. A combination of rest, exercise, and anti-inflammatory medication really can stop the pain. See a doctor to determine what's best for your bad back. For the Health Watch, Dawn Timoney, NBC10 News.